Hi, I'm Miss Marilyn, and today we're going to make paper beads. First, we're going to need some supplies, including some scrapbook paper. They're often sold in 12 by 12 sheets. Some tape, a pencil, a sponge brush, paper plates, some cocktail straws, Glue, I'm using all-purpose glue stick, but you can use craft glue. A water-based all-in-one sealer glue finish. Some scissors. And a measuring device. I'm using a ruler. And paper towels. Now, we're going to cut the paper into strips. The strips need to be cut 12 inches long. And since the scrapbook paper, paper, paper is normally 12 by 12, it'll automatically 12 inch. And 3 quarters of an inch wide. So you're going to mark the back of the paper. And then you're going to cut out the strips. Again, it's 3 quarter inch wide and 12 inch long. Next, we're going to cut those strips down into what looks like an elongated triangle. First, on one end, you're going to find the middle of the strip. You can either make one mark for a point, or you can find the two most middle points and mark those to create a tiny space at the top. And then you're going to measure diagonally from one of the points to the end of the other end of the strip. You're going to do it on both sides. So it'll be a diagonal from the top to the edge to the, to the corner of the bottom. And then you cut along your lines. And once you cut, the, cut it out, it will look, like I said, like a very long triangle. You can either have a point or you can have the, the flat space on the top that I have. Now we're going to roll our strip into the bead. With the cocktail straws, I like to cut them in half and only use half of the straw. But you can use the full straw. You're going to need some tape. You cut a little tape. You put it onto the wide end of the strip facing up with the back facing up. You put your straw on the on the tape and then you put some glue on the strip you may need to put more glue toward the end of the strip whenever you roll so now you take your your cocktail straw and you roll your strip of paper You get to the end, you may need to add a little more glue, and then you finish rolling. You may add a little more glue to keep it down, but there's your, your bead. Now you're going to take the water-based all-in-one sealer glue finish that you normally can use for decoupage. You'll put it on the paper plate, put a healthy dose of it on the paper plate. Then you will Take your bead on the straw and your sponge brush and you sponge on the sealer slash glue finish onto your paper bead. Put a healthy amount, just don't be worried uh, about putting too much. You'll need a lot. Um, and the more you put on it, depending on the type of paper, the shinier it will come out. Just slather that on. You'll need a paper towel to clean up any excess that you wish to clean up or if you get glue on your, your fingers. And then you let it dry. And while that's drying, we can take one that's already ready and dry and we cut off the excess straw on each side. Get as close to the paper as possible. And cut off one end. 
Now the straw may collapse a little, so take your pencil and put it inside and just roll it to fix any collapse. And you need to cut the other end of the straw as well. And once again, there may be some collapsing of the straw, so just put your pencil in there and you have your bead. So once you have a group of beads, you could either use some twine or a bangle. You can make necklaces or bracelets or anything you wish. You can also add plastic beads to it um, like I did on one of them. But there you go. There are your paper beads.